I am Dr. John Pateras, Director of Mental Invasive Surgery for the Department of Urology at Emory Healthcare. My doctor told me my PSA level was elevated and that they had to have a uh, biopsy and it came back positive for cancer. One of the innovative ways that we are treating prostate cancer is by using the Da Vinci robot. We use the Da Vinci robot to perform a radical prostatectomy, which allows us to surgically remove the prostate and all the cancer. Once I found out that I had cancer, that put a scare in my heart. The robot is controlled by a console. You actually move the robotic arms with finger controls. There are buttons to push for different angulations. We also use our feet to control the instruments as well. Around the prostate, there are nerves that are used for erections. There are blood vessels that feed the prostate and feed the bladder. It's very challenging to see underneath into these little deep, very dark locations of the human body. The advantage of the visualization is you've got a very bright camera that's placed only inches away from the structures. Utilizing high definition video, you're able to see in a magnified, more precise fashion. With that kind of quality and that kind of magnification, you can actually see inside the body better than you've ever been able to see before. The majority of our patients who undergo robotic prostate surgery at this point, most of them will go home actually within a day after surgery, where in the past from open surgery, it could take as long as three to five days. I went home that same day after the surgery. I'm fully recovered, I feel great. We rarely see infections. We rarely see any problems with hernias or complications from the incision in general. The Da Vinci robot has actually become extremely popular in the United States. One of the big advantages of Emory Urology is the fact that we're not just utilizing the robot to do prostate surgery. We're utilizing the robot for small kidney tumors, testicular cancer, bladder cancer. We are also operating on women who have urinary incontinence. We've actually now done quite a number of robotic kidney surgeries in which we cut the tumor out of the kidney and are able to reconstruct the entire kidney. This is something that's actually not being commonly performed outside of this institution in the state of Georgia.